Hello there. My name is Anthony Barocas, and I am with IABA Communications, and I am going to be trying something a little bit new today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I don't really do a whole lot of unboxings, but I am going to give this a try, and I have this brand new uh, Fichi HP, Fic whatever, um, keyboard touchscreen in one. Uh, multifunctional touchscreen keyboard. Let's flip this over and take a look at this. This is uh, USB-C or USB-C to two USB-A because you're powering the monitor as well as the keyboard and works with Windows and Mac OS and, oh, let's get this out of the way, um, Android devices and desktop computers. And um, we're going to give this a shot because I think the uh, touchscreen functionality could be rather interesting to um, take a look at. So doo -doo -doo -doo, we're going to take this open and it's got this sleeve. And go back on here, here. Boop, boop, boop. Whoops, don't do that. Let's see, how does this case open? Oops, okay. Maybe it's this way. It is uh, interesting to figure this out as we go. I've got another camera on the side here. You can see it's, it's uh, you know, the packaging is pretty nice, but it's kind of interesting how this comes together. Let me add uh, while we're doing this. Like I said, this is new. So I'm gonna do uh, overhead and me next. And I'll put me. Put me over here in the corner so I can, hello, I can hold this up anyway. So open this up and we've got some foam in here. All right, and this was actually available in two different versions. Um, one version had uh, mechanical keys, uh, cl clicky clacky, and this version is the flatter version, which I actually prefer over the mechanical. You really gotta do a whole lot of button pushing. So we're gonna pull this out. Uh, you can see it's got a protect screen protector on it. It's the bottom with two feet and big rubber grippy things. Oh, it's it's metal, I think. If something's metal, because it's heavy. So this feels like it's metal. And I just think there's a window here. I don't know what the window is for. It's like it would be infrared or something. Interesting. You get your USB C and oh, that's right, it's also a USB hub. So if you come in C to C and you have that kind of power, then you can uh, have two more USBs coming out of this, which is very cool for video producers because there's always something else, whether it be somebody handing you a USB stick, plug, plug it in here, whether it be um, USB headphones, whether it be um, a stream deck. Although I have to admit that the reason I'm checking this out is because I'm wondering if this touch screen can replace um, using a stream deck so that I have I have to have the keyboard anyway um, keyboard numeric keypad and touch screen this could be like very cool all right continuing down in the box we have a bag that is not felt on the inside it's felt on the outside which is kind of weird, and it's just fabric on the inside. I would maybe even reverse this so it's softer against the screen. You know, just turn it inside out. We have a manual, an actual manual. Product attributes, touch setting, wow, okay. So it is 19 pages in English. That is quite impressive. And you, as you can see right here, the it's a very thin screen so you're not doing a whole bunch of stuff on it but it would be perfect for just like a, a launch bar or something like that um and then i'm guessing this is chinese so it's two languages and we have the c to c cable which i'm not going to use because my keyboard does not have c and a c to double a cable which i am going to use 
because this is more than an unboxing. This is a, hey, let's give it a shot kind of thing. I'm not going to be using this with vMix at the moment because, oh, it is everything. It is HDMI and A and A to USB-C. So that is quite interesting because I only have one HDMI out of the laptop, which I guess I don't really need to pipe into the switch. So we'll put this back. We will put this back. We will put, oh, it is got some weight to it. I'll put this padded lid, the magnetic cover, put that off to the side and bring this in. So this is the keyboard. And is this, this is actually opaque. So, wow. Staticky. Yeah, yeah, static key. We're gonna put that off the side too. And I already get a mark on it. Ugh, unbelievable. Can't take these people anywhere. Anyway, uh, I am doing this live. And if you are on uh, YouTube or Facebook, I have comments enabled and I will be able to see them. So we're going to unplug the HDMI out of my laptop. Hopefully it does not mess up the switch. Nope, does not seem to have done that. I will plug the HDMI. And I'll plug both USBs. I know one of these is actually a USB-C or a USB-3, so we'll use that. And this is me. Oh, wait. They're both safe, but super speed. All right, so um, this is me not reading the manual, which as most video pros will do, we just dive right in. And then we read the manual if we can't figure something out. But um, this is pretty good cable. It's not too thin or, ooh, look at that. Okay, the, key, the computer um, recognized that something was there. No signal, wait, there it is. Okay, so I have a mirror of my laptop screen, which is actually controlling my side pan tilt view camera. So um, like if I reach over, which is also a touch screen, if I reach over to that and I zoom in and zoom out, I wonder, I wonder, could I do that here? <gasps> Whoa, stop. <laughs> that is, um, very cool. As you can see, stop. There's backlighting under the keys. Actually, let's zoom back in. And stop. You can see the backlighting rotating under the keys. So I assume there's probably some driver for that somewhere. And um, actually, I should come over to this view. This way you can actually see the backlighting a little bit better. Blink, 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 blink. So that's the camera I'm controlling with the laptop. And, and you see the laptop screen mirrored on the screen in, I had to say it actually looks really good, um, in the keyboard. I'm gonna flip the feet out because it's reflecting uh, the light a little bit for me. So it's got more of a tilt to me now. And Thus far, I'm, I'm impressed. It's cold, <laughs> which means it's metal on top too. Metal, metal, it's really well built. And if I, I could do it here, but I don't have a mouse, so I'm gonna do it over on my, um, laptop. I'm gonna see if Okay, we are going to split those. We are going to split those. There it is. Let's extend these displays and I'm gonna... Oh, look at that, keep changes. 
and then phew, what you can't see is I'm going to scroll back up and arrange it so I can actually do 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 move my cursor across this screen and then it moves to the other screen so it actually does work exactly as intended um, I was able to move my cursor between the two different displays which um, you can't see now because the output of my laptop is coming into the keyboard so but that is exactly as I had hoped and if I bah, 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 close this close windows and then open something simple like no uh, notepad this is gonna take a little second because I don't have a notepad mm -mm -mm. no comments yet I don't have notepad set up as a <laughs> pinned item notepad all right let me, while we're here let me pin this now pin to taskbar pin to taskbar pin to taskbar and then i can bring it over here admittedly it looks a little bright so i'll see if i can close this down a little bit except i think if i close it down oh no there we go you can see all right That is working exactly as I had hoped. Um, backlight, I can turn the backlight down, which is actually probably a really good idea because then I could increase the brightness of the whole keyboard and without the screen blowing out. And again, this is a touch screen. So once it's on here, I can move things around on this screen you have to excuse my finger i smashed it in a doorway um numeric keypad windows let's do window shift there yep so that's uh that's actually allowing me to do a screen capture which i'll close on the other window so th those are working it says mac and pc compatible but what you don't see is you don't see apple equivalents down here at all but you do have your arrows you do have a numeric keypad you don't have enter on the corner here which is kind of interesting it looks like enter is up here numeric lock plus your operands are here you also have your arrow keys if you're using this for mouse navigation i think it would have been neat to have a trackpad here but technically if it's a touchscreen you don't need a trackpad um and looks like a power button, which I wonder if that, oh, it's a menu button. Brightness, contrast, eco, sharpness, backlight. What if I go down? Color temperature, nice. Can I just touch that? No, I can't. No, so the interestingly enough, the menu on the touch screen is not touch screen warm cool srgb i have to say that the screen is actually pretty good it it's like here the background gets a little green here the background gets a little darker see how the see how this area well that's actually a reflection of my oh i'm sorry that's a reflection of my green screen so i'm gonna say that actually the green the screen looks good uh, let's bring that back up. And what's the last one? Language on screen timer, transparency, 10 seconds. Blue light reset, LED auto. Curious about that one. LED, I guess it's that. Oh! Nice. Okay. Um... White, let's try that. And there we go, you can see white, off, red, green, blue, white, 
auto and it's going to cycle through colors which it's an it would be better if it shifted nicely but i really don't need or off but given how i plan on using this i definitely plan on i would like to have backlighting on and let's just make it white nice uh exit out of that low blue light transparency oh yeah well don't really need transparency on them uh timer uh let's go into that oh 10 is the minimum okay whatever and back out of that can't back out of that language i don't want to change the language all right so we're just going to let that time out Interestingly, there's I didn't see a way to back out to here and jump back up there because once you're in these, there's no exit, so you have to do that. Um, thus far, I am liking this keyboard a lot, and the tactile nature of it is very good. Let me put my hairs up here. Oh, okay. See, I'm I'm doing arrows. I'm 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 moving my I'm moving it around, and if I go numlock, then I'm typing numbers. If I go numlock, and now I'm moving the keyboard, the, the cursor around. And page down, page up, page down, home. Nope. Oh, no, see, if I'm in move it around mode, I should also be in home and end mode. But apparently not. Insert, delete, so those are available through a different method. Uh, if I am here and I hit this, that is indeed enter, because it didn't backspace, although backspace and this key have the same exact, all three of these have the same exact icon. And enter, I would think this is enter, this is backspace, is not that, that's a different icon. Actually, enter should be over and down, over and down. But... By and large, still no comments. By and large, I am really enjoying this keyboard. It will fit nicely for travel. And the fact that it could possibly, for certain productions, it could possibly replace the Stream Deck by allowing me to put a custom um, menu up here for cameras or video clips or multi-views and everything and just have that separate from the keyboard could be very handy in terms of like being able to activate content and do different things or i could have my audio mixer here so i could see my audio mixer and actually move my audio mixer because i can touch the icons <laughs> it's a touch screen um that's kind of amazing in this um compact package it's little over a centimeter thick at its thickest point and then definitely you know the feet give it a little bit more depth right there um but in terms of like just sitting on the desk it actually you know it it's it's got enough weight that it sits nicely and you can see the keys i'm, I'm kind of curious I turn this off. And I turn those off. And I go to the overhead view. It's interesting. Man. Like, yeah, okay, it is <laughs> backlit. But you got to be in a really dark environment for that backlighting to um, appear because these are very opaque. And I mean, I made it, I turned off all the lights here. I covered the keyboard and then I could kind of see it. So I guess if you are in an environment where there is no light, you at least have that but 
it's not like they're going to be brightly glowing. Like I have other keyboards that are backlit that you can easily see the letter part is clear. So when there's a light, it, 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 it has a lot of illumination to it. This is not that. This is um, very opaque. But if there is no light coming around the room and you need to see the keys to type, it, it, it is at least something. No comments. And I am going to sign off on this. I will be doing a more formal review for streaming media producer. And I will be testing, putting uh, content up here. And we shall see how that goes. Uh, with that, my name is Anthony Brogus. I am the chief gearhead of IEVA Communications. Thanks for watching.